Hi everybody, it's Friday. We're thankful for that. Thankful to have you with us as well. And we're going to start off this fifth day of January newswise in just a few moments. Headlines tonight will include, as serious as it was, the family that was there, friends of mine actually, some of them that I spoke with and everyone on scene were very understanding of just how lucky the situation was. It was a kerosene heater that malfunctioned or exploded earlier today in a Sayersville or McGoffin County home. It could have destroyed the home and certainly even injured or worse those inside. But two brothers traveling by that saw the smoke alerted them to the entire situation before it got any worse. To take you to the scene in just a few moments. We'll hear from uh, Fire Chief Paul Howard. And I'll give you all the details I can in just a few seconds. That's our top story this evening. We, of course, have got a lot of weather-wise information to talk about on today's date in our weather history. Uh, if you go back to 1969, Jackson Weather Service records don't go back that far. They weren't around, but the London office does. They say... <coughs> They set a record of minus 8 degrees on the 4th day of January in 69. The following day on the 5th, they registered a minus 12. Keep that in mind. Their records go back to 1954. While here right now, we're talking about some warmer air on the way, but some wintry mix in the middle. Still a lot of uncertainty with what's going to happen Sunday night into your Monday. But right now, you can just about promise it to be a mess. Right now, estimates are about a tenth of an inch of ice up to a half inch of snowfall before it changes over to rain and the back side of everything. Uh, but certainly Sunday night into your Monday morning uh, could be certainly a bit wintry and a bit messy, uh, potentially dangerous on our roads as well. I'll have that latest update for you coming in just a few moments talking about precipitation and whatever form it may be. And I think it's going to cover the full spectrum, mind you, in just a few moments. I'll be right back. As I told you, actually show before last, we'd have more on the Public Service Commission of Kentucky tonight a rate increase for Frontier Gas. Well, they indeed have, as I told you then, but I've got some more details to share. That denial, however, doesn't mean that you won't see an increase on your bill. I'll have more in just a second. And other news to follow. Stay tuned. Hello, McGoffin County. Matthew Weirman here, candidate for County Judge Executive. If elected, one of my priorities will be reducing the amount of money coming from you, the taxpayer. Presently, as magistrate, I have no authority under the law to manage day-to-day -day operations. But as county judge, I will develop a budget that reduces the amount of revenue needed from property taxes. We will do more with less. We will provide the services you expect as citizens, and we will do it without bankrupting the county. I ask for your support during my campaign and your vote on Election Day. Thank you. Much more than diesel specialist, Black Smoke Performance is turning out excellent auto body collision paint and repair results with free quotes and estimates on everything from insurance jobs to that ding you got in the driveway. Custom lift kits, bed liners, winches and accessories, and full diagnostics and repair on anything gas or diesel from brakes to fluid changes to major auto repair. If you want it fixed, lifted, painted, customized, or just maintained, just call on the team at Black Smoke Performance in Dixie of Sagersville, 100 May Drive, or 349-8785. From all of us here at Parkway Pharmacy, we would like to take this time to thank each and every one of our customers for their loyalty and patronage this past year. And we would also like to wish all of McGoffin County Happy, Happy New, New year. year. Yes, Logan makes the best truck bodies on the market, and they also have a fully stocked warehouse of dump body parts, PTOs, hydraulic pumps, hoists, anything you need to get back on the road. And they are a full-service steel and aluminum service center. They keep I-beam, channel, angle, pipe, round rod, rebar, expanded metal, sheet metal, and aluminum all in stock. And if you've got a big project, they do commercial manufacturing to your specs. Logan since 1904. You asked for it, and Appalachian Wireless listened. Appalachian Wireless proudly brings to you the plan you've all been asking for. Unlimited, Unlimited data. data. Unlimited data is only $80 a month for a single line, or get four lines as low as $200. See store for more details. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless, an East Kentucky network company. Data speed slow to 25 gigabytes per line to 512 kilobits for phones and tablets, and 15 gigabytes for modems. See store for more details. 
Wanting you to have a healthier life means providing access to quality, affordable health care. And to do exactly that, Hope Family Medical Center offers full dental care with Dr. Pratt and his team, a pediatrician team of three doctors and nurses and moms, complete health care by family physician Dr. Kelly Pratt and nurse practitioners Mildred Sizemore, Gail Faria, Shannon Conley, and Heather Blair behavioral health services with Kimberly Davis with in-house lab testing and results in-house x-ray and pharmacy and all the caring knowledge and experience that these medical professionals represent at Hope Family Medical Center. I'm attorney Don McFarland. We all know that times are hard, jobs are scarce. Most people that I know are struggling to support their families and make it through each day. Now imagine that you get seriously hurt while working on the job and the insurance company for your employer refuses to pay wages and benefits while you are injured and cannot afford to pay medical expenses, household bills, and put food on the table to support your family. I can help. If you are being wrongfully denied workers' compensation benefits that you rightfully deserve, then give me a call and let me go to work for you. 349-9000. The Kentucky Public Service Commission did deny for the second time, the first going back to October of just this past year, but denied a rate increase requested by the Frontier Gas Company, which serves 11 counties, including that, of course, of ours here in McGoffin County, the second rate increase denial in just the past few months. They serve over 5,000 residents. They had requested more than $370,000 of a total increase, a uh, rate hike, if you will, about 19 percent uh, from what I understand to take effect at the end of this month or the first of next. The Public Service Commission however said that increase would generate quote reserve in excess of a reasonable amount but they did approve however even though they denied the rate increase request they did approve however a higher customer surcharge that surcharge is going to go to pay for replacing old gas lines that Frontier is trying to update throughout their system. And they allowed Frontier Gas to raise former customers' bills equal to that of what other customers they serve. So if they picked up an older company or if they were operating under another company, they are allowing them to put everyone on even kill, if you will. Some of those folks will be paying an increased amount. As for the surcharge that everyone's going to pay, it's going to go from $1.25 to $5 for the customer surcharge to replace old lines that have been being replaced now for some time. Now the PSC report also did note that they've had a, a slower than expected or hoped for process in regards to replacing those lines over the past several years going back to 2011. They've only replaced some 7.2 miles of lines since 2011 instead of the 2.5 a year that they had planned on doing initially. The PSC also ordered that Frontier Gas must open an interest-bearing account for that pipeline replacement program for those funds that they're going to raise through that surcharge to be placed in and they can only use those monies for that project. Uh, they also said that they must decrease their employee benefits. Employees getting 100 percent of health and dental insurance as of this time. Man, I'm, yeah. You, you, it's hard to use the word lucky or fortunate when you're talking about someone's house being seriously damaged, and that was the case. But at the same time, uh, the homeowners, the father and mother of one of the residents that I spoke to, who I know and know for quite some years, uh, were considering them to be very fortunate, and that is what we'll focus on tonight. After a kerosene heater malfunctioned earlier today on Burning Fork. And shortly thereafter, fortunately, two brothers were traveling on Burning Fork and saw the smoke and stopped and rendered aid. And it's believed that that may have very well saved this home of a young couple expecting, I believe, their first child. Two brothers helped save an expecting couple's home today. One of them suffering serious second and third degree burns as a result. After they were driving down Burning Fork Road near where you would turn into the state highway garage and spotted smoke billowing from the garage of this home, it all unfolded around noon today when Curtis and David Cole, 
saw smoke billowing from the garage of Jared and Emily Gibson's home. The Cole brothers stopped to let them know that their house was on fire, and when they did, one of them, Curtis and Mr. Gibson, were trying to put the fire out and they opened the garage door. Now that did a couple of things from what firemen told me on scene. Of course, the air gave fuel to the fire, but that opened garage door, which is now positioned basically on the ceiling of the garage, protected that ceiling from the fire that was shooting from that kerosene heater, which had exploded and may very well have kept the fire from going in to the ceiling structure, the wooden structure of the house. Nevertheless, while they were trying to extinguish the fire, Mr. Gibson used his foot to try to kick the kerosene heater out the door, and in doing so, kerosene fuel spilled and quickly ignited. As a result, the fire spread across the floor, also burning Mr. Cole as a result. In fact, Cole was taken by ambulance for the severity of his burns to an area hospital, as was Mr. Gibson. I have confirmed that Gibson was released right around 4 o'clock this afternoon. I'm unsure as to whether or not Mr. Cole was kept at the hospital for his burns. There was numerous people there. They had the fire under control when we got there. He was confined to the garage section of the, of the resident, but it, the house, the whole resident had completely smoke damage. Uh, severely throughout the house. The, the Gibson resident uh, was very fortunate uh, that they, uh, the Cole uh, brothers discovered the fire because uh, they was inside the house and the, the male subject, uh, the Gibson, was inside the house and he didn't uh, know the, the garage was on fire. Uh, and if it wasn't a, a good Samaritan good neighbor stopping to alert him, he could have lost his whole resident. Gibson told us that he'd been working in the garage and using the kerosene heater to warm the space and that he'd gone inside for a few moments before it malfunctioned. He and his wife Emily are expecting a child in February. And while Mr. Gibson did suffer some minor injuries, his wife, who was also home, suffered none. Kerosene heater is a supplementary heat, but anytime you have supplementary heat, it needs to be monitored at all times. You know, this, this near some, some time, somehow ignited and wasn't functioning uh, properly what caused the, the fire so uh, you know if he if he's in the house and it, it completely caught a fire it could have destroyed this whole house same way if any supplementary heat during these cold times you need to monitor them at all times To get high-speed internet on their state-of-the-art fiber optic network for all of your home and business solutions, or to watch TV without a contract on over 200 digital channels with superb quality, or stay connected with family and friends with 24-7 telephone service you can always depend on, contact Foothills Broadband today. Or just click on their link to the right to find out how they're working to provide the latest in communications at affordable prices with exceptional service at Foothills Broadband. Like our 100% safe and secure mobile banking app at Sayersville National, we're always working to make your life a little easier. And our mobile deposit feature gives you more freedom and more time to do what you love the most. Just open the app, confirm the amount, and click. You're done. A safe, no-hassle way to manage your money from anywhere in the... Well, you get the drift. Now get the app at Sayersville National Bank. 349-3131. You waited all year for Christmas, and many of you waited all year for this, and it's just about over 50% off everything Christmas, except for the trees, right now, and just about over at Fraser's Prater Drug Seasonal Shop, and 75% off other special items that have been drastically marked down. If you're out in downtown Sagersville tomorrow, stop by the Seasonal Shop. You're guaranteed to find something of an incredible bargain Christmas-related. It's the blowout sale, and something for everyone in your home, too at the seasonal shop. Hi, I'm attorney Jeff Lovely. When hiring an attorney, experience does matter. For over 20 years, I've been representing clients throughout Eastern Kentucky. We are a full service law firm, representing clients who've been injured in car accidents or at work, representing clients who need to file bankruptcy, representing clients who've been charged with a crime. For all your legal needs, contact my office when it matters. We have two locations for your convenience. In Sayersville at 349-4522 and West Liberty at 743-1965.
Are you a little strapped for cash after the holidays and taxes? They'll loan you cash today on anything worth a dollar. They're open tomorrow at Parkway Gun and Pawn. Jewelry, electronics, gold, games, TVs, power tools, and more. All for pennies on the dollar. Parkway Gun and Pawn. 349 Pawn, right across from Little Caesars in Sagersville. Um. <clears throat> Is this thing on? This is a public service announcement from the hardcore champ, Rex Talladega. And guess where I'm at? I'm at Gateway Motors, the sickest car dealership in town. Look at all these sick, these sick vehicles we got, the sweet deals. Come on down here, see my buddy John Harris. Let him fix you up. Dial 349-2277 or just dial 349-CARS. Who thought of 349-CARS? That's, that's really original. That's really nice, John Harris. Don't let your finances after the holidays and taxes keep your family from traveling safe. You can get six months no interest right now at Conley Tire in Staffordsville. You can pull in and get new tires out of the thousands they have in stock every day and get the latest discounts from all the major brands. Conley Tire in Staffordsville. Now it's time for your McGoffin Farm Bureau community calendar. I do have a couple of reminders for you tonight. I also have, importantly to begin with, Happy birthday wish to a 66-year-old. A 66-year-old Dallas Patrick, pastor of the Fritz Church of God. This apparently comes from Sarge, Dallas, because it says Sarge thinks he really, you really need to be out to pastor. Now, those aren't my words, and I suspect that those might be ones you might want to share with him as well. Nevertheless, from Sarge and a big bunch of family and friends, happy 66th birthday. Sincerely, going out to Dallas Patrick of the Fritz Church of God. Happy, happy birthday to you. Monday starts off the Healthy Choices for Everybody series of cooking through the calendar at your extension service. This Monday at noon and again at 5, no excuses for not being able to get there, will be their first of monthly cooking classes, free classes, red beans and rice this Monday, noon and at 5. Stop by your McGoffin County Extension office. And if you haven't already got your new 911 address in McGoffin County, you can call Terry Trimble at the Big Sandy Ad Board, 886-2374 or 800-737-2723. Does not change your P.O. box, but everyone has a new physical address. And this is the one that you want to get updated as soon as possible. Our EMS personnel will be using it, hopefully. Well, they hope to never have to, but should they, that's what they will have to go by through 911. If you've got a calendar announcement, mail, email, Facebook, phone, fax, drop it off here at the studio. Remember, we'll be changing our physical address here at the studio very soon, joining the Sagers Independent, who have already got moved in, obviously. But for now, and all next week, keep them coming here. Now I'm going to jump right on to your Licking Valley RACC forecast, and I guess I'll explain a little bit why in just a few seconds. Basically, it's been a long couple of weeks, <laughs> but it's getting ready to be much, much better. Okay, I'll get to that in a second. Tonight's low of one degree means another dangerous night ahead. Clear skies, calm winds, fortunately, but one degree. That's dangerously cold again. The good news is, is that even though we've got one more day of it, we're going to be out of these woods for a little while, but we still have some wintry mix and some snow and ice to have to deal with. Tomorrow, nevertheless, for your Saturday, another day of brutal cold temperatures right around 20, 21 degrees. Nighttime lows tomorrow still in the single digits at 5. While we'll see sunshine tomorrow, we'll also see wind chills below zero again for the first half of your weekend, but a significant change for the latter half. As we go into Sunday, looking at 37 degrees, that's a heat wave, comparatively, 28 for Sunday night. Now, as we've been talking, still a lot of uncertainty with this setup, but right now, after a partly sunny Sunday, we'll see a variety in uh, smorgasbord. We're going to see it all in form of precipitation, and we're going to see all of them. A chance of snow showers before 3, as we'll be well below freezing uh, at the end of Sunday. And then we'll see this possibly some freezing rain, uh, maybe some sleet. We will see right now up to a tenth of an inch of sleet or ice, maybe a half inch of snow. And that's leading and crossing over into your Monday morning as well, where we'll see those same conditions possibly up through about 10 or so until we get above the freezing mark. We'll do so to the tune of 40 degrees and above, look at that, 
The first night above freezing, and I haven't done the math, look at the calendar, but it's been a while. But we still have that wintry mix and all the mess Monday morning that could certainly uh, cancel some classes, cause some travel problems. Could be slick, could be hazardous, so keep your eye and your mind on that. 42 Tuesday, all the bumpy stuff is gone. Just clear and calm, partly sunny skies. 42 Tuesday, 53 Wednesday. It's not on your screen, but get this. 56 Thursday of next week. Yep, and that will be the peak. And then we'll start to fall back there, but I don't see us falling back to where we are now. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this evening and for this week. And I know we're doing so a few minutes short tonight, but it's been a big, long week. It's been an exciting one and a very tiring one as well. But we're going to be able to start Monday uh, much better off than we did this past Monday with everything already uh, in place and ready to pick up our first full week of the Sagersville Independent and your news today going simultaneously. And at the end of next week, our plans are over the course of Saturday and Sunday to make our second and I hope last big move for a while. And that will be relocating this operation into the new structure downtown, which will then house hopefully Monday bright and early, or at least early, uh, both your news today and the Sagersville Independent Offices. We've been spending some time there, of course, all week uh, with the paper, and it has proved to be a wonderful location that I think will work very well in concert with both organizations. And I think it's going to allow us to make some really nice changes, hopefully very, very soon both entities uh, and bring you news like we just never been able to do before. I'm really, really excited about it. I'm really, really tired, but I'm really, really, really excited about it. And we'll start all that off when we see you back here next time. Enjoy your weekend. Keep an eye on your weather Sunday night and Monday morning. And thank you for watching.